So, although I guess we were formally notified, but apparently we need to appoint a FOIL appeals officer or the town board can act as the appeals officer. So I guess there's, is this guy going to the uh, session or? Uh, no, I don't think we need to do that. So there is apparently an appeal coming up um, that uh, um, had been sent to uh, Michelle or Judge Van Wart um, for ruling on and um, the judge recused herself. Um, and come back to Peter, I guess, or to the, uh, um, so we need to appoint a FOIL appeals officer. And I guess the other option is that the town board can act as the appeals officer. Um, it's my understanding that the clock has started on, on this uh, appeal itself. So it's a 10 day window. So <clears throat> my recommendation anyway, is that we appoint the town board as the appeals officer for this appeal. Um, so we, you know, we process and get it completed within the 10 days um, because on the subject of one of the uh, actions that I will recuse myself, um, my recommendation, again, my recommendation would be that Joe Drzinski kind of chair the four members of the remaining board on um, reviewing the appeal and providing feedback to the process and to the uh, person submitting the request. Uh, again, I'll recuse myself. In parallel, or as we move forward uh, over the next month or so, I guess we'll work with Peter, maybe Michelle, um, Carol is the records officer um, to find a suitable applicant to who can uh, uh, fill the role as a FOIL appeals officer for the town of Princeton. Uh, I'm not sure if it's somebody in town, um, what the criteria is, if it's somebody can borrow from Blainsburg or Rotterdam or something. But um, I guess we we consider the clock has started. Is that basically a safe assumption? This is a very unusual case. I mean, typically the way it works with a FOIL appeal is that if somebody doesn't get the records they want, they have they submit an appeal, and the appeals officer has 10 days in which to make their response. Here the appeal was filed. After the appeal was filed, the uh, appeals officer, uh, Judge Van Wert, recused herself basically saying that she received an opinion from the Committee on Judicial Ethics saying that they didn't think it was appropriate for her to be the FOIL appeals officer. So she was made the FOIL, that position was made the FOIL appeals officer by a law in 1974. Do you have a copy of that, by the way? So we're kind of in a position where the town, although the person who's appointed the FOIL appeals officer can't serve as the FOIL appeals officer. So this is just one of those situations where there is no so we right need, answer. So we need somebody to hear that appeal. So do, is it just, just something for this one, or do we need to do something Permanently in the case. Both. Okay. Both. And that's so, why I recommend the town board do this one, minus myself. Um, once you know we've got the, this initial process, you know we submit resumes or resumes or you know get submitted to us that you know we can appoint a person to serve as the foil appeals officer for the town, for town for. I guess a year over year. In other towns, is it the same law in place where it's the town judge? It is the town, it's either the town board or the chief executive of the town or a person appointed by the town board. So it can be any one of those three things. That's what law says? Yes. Okay. So it's really up to each individual town how they want to do it. Um, the so town board can decide. This doesn't come up very often. I don't know, Carolyn your years if this has ever come up in effect. So this in is fact, pretty unusual. The fact that appealing a FOIL has never come up. Right. So, the, right. so we can either go through the, the trouble of appointing somebody or the town, we can basically change the 1974 law so that there isn't, it doesn't appoint a FOIL appeals officer and then the town board would just hear whatever appeals come up. 
And the way it would work is in the event another appeal came up, the town board would probably just kick it to the town attorney, who's probably the right person to be making the decision anyway. Uh, so I would suggest that we change the local law to change and this could be done for the town. Get rid of the appointment of the appeals officer and just allow the town board to serve going forward. That way we don't have to deal with finding somebody else. You said the town attorney just now, right? You mean? I meant the town board. I don't oh, we would refer it to him. You <laughs> said that and the town board would just kick it to the town attorney. Does that mean? That's what I meant that. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. At a reduced rate. At the reduced rate that he is already providing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and very reduced rate. So in that scenario that you just described, the town board would still be the ultimate decision maker. We would, would we just get input from you, or would you? We would formally make you the. No, no, it would just be the input. Yeah, the town board would make the decision. The town attorney would probably write the decision for the town board to say yes or no. To it. I like that. So for tonight's discussion, now, right, we're not going to. All we're going to do is say for this appeal, we're going to assign the town board minus myself to. What are we supposed to make? Pretty clear. What's that? And get an opinion from you on this one? So what will happen, Tim, or the mm -hmm. requester would have to submit the written appeal to the town board. When it comes in, I'll take a look at it with everyone's blessing home. So we're about half an hour time? To think of once, he res once he resubmits it, oh, yeah. I would say you should have 10 days. The board should have 10 days. To He's not done yet. He has submitted it to the FOIL appeals officer who can't serve. So. He's, not, he's got to resubmit. So we have to resubmit. Uh, I think the, the appropriate thing is for him to resubmit it. And we'll have time to get. Right. We got ten days. We'll have ten days to respond. We'll have time to get your thoughts. That's all I'm caring. Correct. Yes. Cool. And in the meantime, we can continue to work with him to satisfy him on his request. So hopefully, we don't even necessarily. Is there a So we don't necessarily have to get Peter's opinion if you can resolve it. No. Short of that. I, mean, I don't know what it's about, so I mean, is there anybody else that uh, do I need to be using myself? No, it was specific to Mike and a couple of other town players. So I think for tonight we just need a, a resolution which says that for purposes of uh, the current appeal pending before Judge Van Wert, that the town board will hear the appeal. I like that. That's the freedom of information on our request. Dated whatever date it was, by whoever it was. I'll second. Wait, who made it first? Bob. Bob. Bob made the motion. Bob has had yes, 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 yes. And Joe was right. the chair, correct? Joe's the chair. Joe's going to chair up. Joe will write the opinion board. for the town board. I don't think you need to. Does Mike need to recuse himself now? Uh, it doesn't have to be. Or at the time. At the time. time. Yeah. Not so silent. I'll revise the letter I wrote to the applicant to say this is what has happened if you choose. If you want to continue with your appeal. Right, then please resubmit and address it to the town board. And the town board will respond to your appeal within 10 days. So, we'll uh, let's review the resolution Aye. again. Okay. So, the resolution would be uh, the town board uh, shall hear the appeal of the pending FOIL request before Judge Van Wert, submitted by Mr. Barry Ogley. Mm -hmm. This board will be chaired by Joe Drusensky. Joe will write the opinion. Can we step back for a second? We don't want to say that we want to review the appeal that's before the town of justice. We want to appoint ourselves as the appeal officer because if we review that one, then we're already on the clock, right? <coughs> All right. So, Todd's right. So it should be that the town board um, shall hear the appeal of 
the Freedom of Information request submitted by Mr. Ferrioli on a certain date. Mm -hmm. If upon make it upon resubmission of the other an appeal by Mr. Ferrioli, the town board <coughs> will issue its response to the appeal within ten days of its receipt of the resubmittal. And I think we can leave it at that. Mike, you can just recuse yourself from from the decision. I have a question now. Is that done in any special meeting or? No, it can be just something written issued by the board. <coughs> um, I mean, how do we go over it? Doesn't the open meeting clause say that the board gets together more? Yeah, it does. If, if you're going to meet to discuss it, um, it really depends on the timing of it. I mean, we're going to get together a couple times over the next whatever. Yeah, but do we have to write in public? Yes. Then we get together. But we're going to get together for the Bob Friedman thing, we're going to get together for the UCC thing. So yeah, I mean, it can be, be, be a public meeting, it doesn't have to be open public comment. Let me, let me think about how the decision should be issued. I don't think we need to take that up right now, that's a procedural thing. But we need to make sure, if we're going to discuss it, that it needs to be an open meeting. I don't know if that's the appropriate kind of thing for an executive session, it might be. Um, but I can figure that out in the meantime. So and this is just a temporary solution, right, for the single appeal? Correct. So the simple appeal actually there's two requests. So two requests, but only one being appealed. Right? I think there might be two being appealed, but I'll have to check my letter. Okay. Because they did address it. Okay. Okay. So we need a motion to approve the resolution. Joe being chair. Uh, I don't think we need to, that needs to be part of this resolution. What, that can be something we determine afterwards. Um, basically, what all we're saying right now is that the town board will hear it when it comes before when it, the appeal comes in. Mike can recuse himself at that point, and it becomes a committee, right? Or so board. Get a board. It's so get a town the town board. board. The town board will issue its decision. You don't have to appoint a committee to make the decision of the town board action. But when the town board takes that action, that's when you recuse yourself from it. Just, you don't have to recuse yourself from it at this point. It can be in the response or it can be issued by the entire town board. It doesn't have to be issued by one person. Okay. Uh, if you want to recuse yourself now, you can. <laughs> I don't think it's necessary. It's all I don't think it's necessary, but it's, it also wouldn't be improper for you to do it now. So if you prefer right. to get on the record, then. No, I'm not recusing myself now. Okay. I'm recusing myself with time. Okay. <clears throat> Since we're all completely unaware of what's going on here, so we have a resolution. Do we need to uh, second it? Or I'll make a motion. Who seconds? I'll second. So I got an eye. No more eye. Four eyes. Yes. When will we see the uh, actual document? When will they see it? I guess I can read it, right? I just can't vote on it, right? Correct. Um, the FOIA request itself is a public document. Um, so Carol said she's going to send a letter to him, basically stating that what we decided tonight, which was that the town board will hear this appeal, and he should resubmit, and the town board will uh, render its decision within 10 days of receiving the request. All right. 
So folks, um, at this point we're going to move into executive session. Um, I know it's late, I appreciate everybody staying late. We'll be here, hopefully it won't be take, too, take us too long to win. Um, um, so do we have a motion to move into executive session to, to discuss some possible uh, pending litigation? Uh, do, uh, do we need a name? Uh, well, we're going to go in to discuss the uh, court clerk's position, right? Yes. Yeah. And I think that, unless you want to discuss the, the other thing, but uh, at this point I don't see a real need to discuss that or anything. So. No, that's fine. We're moving for one. Okay, so... so I take think out I'm, pending litigation. Yeah. Court clerk position. I would say to discuss uh, an employment matter relating to a court clerk's position. Do we have a motion? So moved. Second. And five eyes. Five. 